Why do I f keep doing that? Avery and a couple other guys the road today to live hitters. I'm also going to be pitching today too. What is up guys? Today is Tuesday, January 3rd. About to head to Accelerate for rehab as normal. Get the work in, get a little workout in as well. You guys know the drill by now. But yeah, I'll see you guys over there. These are hurting the left shoulder. Left shoulder is weak. What do we got? Up here. You're going to be going into external rotation, right. and then you're going to stop up there. And then you do it? Then okay, do yeah. It. Oh, yeah, I love you. I'm standing around going, I might have to shoot somebody. I have to shoot somebody real quick. Yeah, it could, so, could be Jake. No, I didn't even see it. We have got this in the mail. And this was the last thing that I was expecting in the mail and probably the most important because this is what I'm gonna be using to film every day. As you guys know, I've been using the 50 millimeter lens which is on there right now. Yeah, let's open this bad boy up. And I've also got the ND filter as well. I got this in the mail not too long ago. I'll show you guys what this does. It's basically gonna make this lens look like this lens a little bit in higher light situations. It's gonna have a really blurry background. And yeah, it's just gonna make the footage look better all around. I'm gonna open this bad boy up right now. And here it is. It's pretty heavy, so it's definitely gonna, I guess, make the camera much heavier than what it actually is. But boy, I'm, I'm excited to use this. Yeah, but I'm gonna take that lens off, put this lens on, and I guess see how it looks. I'm excited. All right, so we have the 15 millimeter lens on, or well, I should say 15 to 85 millimeter lens on right now, but it is a monster. It looks incredible on the camera. I feel like this looks much different than what 15 to 45 millimeter lens looks like. It is much, much bigger than what the 50 millimeter lens is. I'll show you guys what that looks like right here. I'll take my camera out on my phone right now and show you guys what this is looking like. Yeah, this this lens is, is great. I am excited to use it. it. Looks great on the camera. The only downside is that it's kind of heavy. Again, doesn't really matter. I'm also going to test out the ND filter right now as well. I'll show you a little bit of what it looks like. So as you can see, it gets darker and lighter. That's what a variable ND filter does. So this is basically like a sunglass for your camera. So when I'm outside in super highlight situations, I can make my aperture really low and then use this and get that really blurry background like I would with this. The only thing is, is this aperture maximum is three and a half where this was 1.8. Like I said, I'm gonna put this on there right now and see how it looks. It's probably gonna be really dark because it's super dark in here today and it's also raining outside of course, but we'll see, we'll put it on right now. Yeah, as you can see, it's really dark. Maybe let's go in the dining room and see. Yeah, this is a little better, but yeah, you can see the darker I go, that really makes it super dark. Like I said, I'm not really gonna use the ND filter in low light situations. It'll make the footage worse probably, so maybe I can test it outside right now. Yeah, see the natural light, it, it works much better in the natural light. See, this is with the ND filter, like almost at the third stop of the variable. 
and the footage here looks good. The last thing that I'm gonna test out right now is the focal length. This goes to 85 millimeters, super good for even just photography. Most of the vlogging that I do, this is the setting that I'm gonna use, but I can also zoom in, zoom out, and that's really not even zooming in. Yeah, we're gonna test that out right now. So yeah, that is, that is definitely nice to be able to have. Just gives me that ability to be able to do long shots, short shots, be able to vlog myself, and yeah, but this lens is, is great so far. It's a big day for this kid right here. First time throwing? First time throwing back from surgery. Gonna play catch for him and throw back lefty. So this is my first time technically throwing since surgery as well, but excited to see this kid throw. It's gonna be cool. He's going about 40, what is it, 40 feet? Yeah, 45. Yeah, see how it goes. Oh, it feels so weird. No, I wouldn't be able to catch. God, it feels so weird throwing lefty, bro. Looks good. How's it feel? Feels good. What are you, like, feeling? Nothing. Nothing? No, it feels good. So Brian had ulnar nerve surgery about six weeks ago. Basically what that is, is he like, doctor went in, like restructured his ulnar nerve, and the timetable for that is much slimmer than what it is for what I have. Got a little we bit. We still got it. Yeah. We still got it. A little it. bit of a sling there. Roman's giving up on righty. Yeah. It's just going straight left. Yeah. yeah. Should have done it a long time ago. Should have done it a long time ago. Last one? Yeah, and then I take a five minute break. Feels good. Good? Looks good. It's coming out pretty good. How is, how's it feel, effortless? Yeah. No pain? Does it feel, feel weird to throw without pain? Yeah, it feels weird. We got the pitch logic. I hooked it up to my phone. Brian's gonna see his spin efficiency, so that was just gonna help him like make sure that his wrist positioning is right. That almost 95. Is that good? It's not bad. Right now, anything above 90% efficiency is good. good. I kind of gassed that one a little bit. That was 35 miles an hour. Last one. That was your best one. See, that's what the numbers look like. You're spinning it pretty good for 50 miles an hour, mm -hmm. like 1,200. Efficiency was 98 there, which is good. Spin I mean, right speed, good. spin, efficiency, all good. What do you got to say, Bri? How's it feel? Wing feels good, first time back. Feels great. What would you say was, like, biggest thing that, like, you felt today? Like, it just felt awkward. Yeah, that's, that's what's going to happen. It definitely will feel awkward. We finally have a little bit of a sunny day here in New York. Wanted to come out give the camera, the ND filter, a little test with the new lens, see how it looks with bright light outside. But honestly, overall, like on the screen, it looks really good. It's starting to get a little darker now. The clouds are rolling over the sun, but the footage looks good from the screen right now. The background should be pretty blurry, should have a shallow depth of field and should get a little motion blur. I'll just kind of move it around a little bit and the background should stay blurry. Yeah, the ND filter looks great. You can see the uh, contrast and colors pop in pretty well while also keeping the exposure pretty low. Like I said, compared to earlier when I showed you guys what the ND filter looked like, it works much, much better in natural light. I think I'm gonna do some B-roll shots and show you guys what this lens is looking like and what the filter looks like as well. Other than the new lens, I'm gonna head to Accelerate today, get the rehab done. Obviously, you guys have already seen that, so I'm not gonna film that today, but Avery and a couple other guys the road today to live hitters. So I'm gonna film that, should be super cool. I think I'm also gonna be pitching today too, but obviously not like you guys probably are gonna think from the beginning of this video. Gonna go on the mound, lefty. It's gonna be funny to see me pitch lefties.
Get better cures on my toes. Really? I'm leading off against you, Abe. All right. I just strike you out at least one time. I'm gonna throw you some sliders. Yes, some fast please. Balls. Pull her up. Look at this beast. It's an absolute beast right there. Dougie, you're umpire. It doesn't matter. A little back door piece. <sighs> Why do I keep doing that? Drive it through. Strike one. That was dirty. Better than Roman slider, actually. Strike two. Two great pitches. That's one out. Yeah, it was bad. Oh, too terrible. Oh, two pitch. Strike one. Dotted. Good try. I cut him a slider off that now. Man, our first one out. Terrible pitch by me. Got to be better than that. Take care of this young gentleman. Can't be too bad of a pitcher or else he'll hit a home run. And it's a great pitch. Dotted, full count. Wow. Not a bad pitch, gotta be better 3-2 though. Yeah. Great one-two change up right there. Change been looking good, you know. Better than Romans, to be honest. He sucks. I'm way better than him. <laughs> that was... It's probably the worst pitch ever, actually. Better than Roman, to be honest. American East matchup right here, Bing versus NJIT. You gotta really strike him out. No. They see me mic'd up and see me talking. <laughs> Terrible pitch, you know, gotta buy him though. So, it's a great outing. It's like, never mind, that was an okay outing. Great job, catcher. Thank you. <laughs> That was a terrible slider, but I don't care. We're with the fellas. How'd it feel? Hey, man, it felt great. My back's just absolutely F-U-C, tell you that. I need to go see Steve Kingwater. Look who decided Yo, are you working out today? I got a quarter of yesterday. I can't move my arm. Oh. Oh, that was yesterday? <laughs> this kid has a shoulder of a 35-year-old. Middle reliever. Middle reliever. He had his cortisone shot yesterday, so he... Can't throw, Jake, you but catch me one hey, after this? I'm here to support. It could, it could get better. Just like Roman's doing. I don't have a yes, camera, yeah, but we're both supporting. Hold on, I gotta get a thumbnail quick, Doug. There we go, that's good. That's good enough. I know I said I was gonna throw off the mound yesterday, but we got rushed off the field, so we're gonna throw off this mound lefty today for y'all's amusement. Should be pretty funny. I got my, my glove. This is gonna be so funny. You guys have seen me throw lefty a little bit from last time we played catch which was like a couple days ago. But we played catch again today, so, you know, the, the left wing is, is pretty loose. All right. Strike one. That's right. That's right. Yo, I, I'm actually around. I'm, I'm around the plate, which isn't bad. All right, we're gonna go a little curveball here. This could, this might go like 10 feet. I'm not kidding. Let's see. <laughs> hey, I had the right spin. It was just bad. Way, that hit, that hit the batter. I throw the knuck with the regular, but I don't think I can with the lefty. We'll try it though. All right. What? <laughs> No, I can't throw a lefty knuck. All right, another curveball. See if this is any better. Nope. That was almost the camera. All right, I, I can't throw a curveball. It's not in the arsenal. I think it's only just fastball right now. Fastball, maybe maybe a changeup. I don't even think I could throw a changeup. A little fastball. A couple more here. A little fastball. Ugh. <sighs> 
That's not bad. That's actually not bad. All right, last one. We're gassing this up. Yeah, I just grunted on 50 miles an hour. That's right. <laughs> Ow, that kind of hurt a little bit. As you guys can tell, I got a pretty solid arsenal left-handed. Just, just a fastball at about 50 miles an hour. So, All right, guys, today is Sunday, January 8th. Heading back to school today. It's like 2.45 right now, leaving here in about 15 minutes. Got everything all packed up, ready to go back to school. Went to the Utica Comets hockey game the other night. It was pretty fun. Ended up winning in a shootout. Took some videos over there. It was a great time at home. Excited to get back to school, get the, the grind going, and um, get the season started. Yeah, but that's going to be it for this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, be sure to leave a like down below. Also, if you're new to the channel, be sure you're subscribed. And also, click that little bell to get notified every single time I post a new video so y'all don't miss out on any new content. And yeah, guys, I will see you next Monday back in Columbia. Peace out, y'all.